In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the WeGo with Virtual DJ. First off, I'll show you how to configure your sound card. Then I'll show you some of the features, such as how to browse your media. Later, I'll show you some advanced features, such as using the Jog Effects, the Sampler, Hot Cues, and having a 4-deck mix. Finally, I'll show you how to use the skins in Virtual DJ. First of all, if you're a Windows user, you need to go back and install the ASIO driver. You can find this on pioneerdj.com support. If you're a Mac user, you can skip ahead. Basically, there are two ways to set up your sound card. One is for using with external speakers, and the other is just for using your computer or laptop speakers. So if you'd like to use your laptop speakers, I'll show you how to do that now. Go to the configuration menu in Virtual DJ. Here you'll, you'll see all the various options for setting up your sound card. Under outputs, you want to select single output. And for sound card, leave it as simple, but then choose built-in output. Then click apply. Now all of the sound will be routed through your laptop speakers. You can still use the WeGo to control Virtual DJ. If you want to use external speakers in the WeGo sound card, let's go back up in the configuration. Under outputs, select headphones. And under sound card, select four out card, and then Pioneer DDJ WeGo. Click apply. Basically what using external speakers does is it uses the DDJ WeGo sound card and allows you to queue up while listening to your mix through the master output. Now let's take a look at some of the basic playback features in Virtual DJ. You'll notice that Virtual DJ is the same layout of the WeGo. This makes it easy to kind of see what's going on. So now I'm going to show you some of the basic features in the software. Here we have the, uh, the tempo adjustment, which slows down or speeds up your track. Then you've got your sync feature, which will match your two tracks together. The cue and play buttons, the jog wheel, your effects around the top of the platter. And then you have the, uh, the waveform here and also up at the top too, so you can really see what's going on in the track. You've got your BPM up here and the master control, which helps with the sync. You've got your time remaining, time elapsed, and how much you've adjusted the pitch by. The auto loop here, and then we have your hot cues and sampler. In the middle, you have all your mixer functions, which are the same as the WeGo. You've got your three band EQ, as well as the gain and headphone controls and cueing. And you've got your crossfader with adjustable crossfade or through option. And then you also have video mixing and scratching. Down here at the bottom, you'll see you've got your browser, the sampler, and effects. You can also record your mix in the software. At the top here, you've got your configuration. And over here, you can configure your skin. You can also enable the 4-deck option here with the 2 to 4-deck button. That way you can utilize decks C and D on the WeGo. Finally, you've got your clock and the master volume output. Now let's take a look at the browsing interface. Luckily, Virtual DJ automatically picks up all of your media folders in iTunes collection for your ease of use. So basically what you want to do is use this encoder up here and the shift button to navigate through all of it. Use this to scroll through your tracks, and then if you want to step back to the directory section over here, you hold the shift button, and then you can scroll through those. So here I've got a folder a playlist that I made earlier. Let's load up a couple tracks. Find a track that you want, and then hit the according load button on either deck. So there we have it. I've loaded up two tracks now. Now I'm going to show you some of the more advanced playback features in Virtual DJ. To start off with, I'll show you how to use the sync feature to snap two tracks together. Then I'll discuss the jog effects, hot cues, and sample pad. Finally, at the end, I'll show you a quick 4-deck demonstration. So, here I've got one track at 121 beats per minute, and another one that sits around 128. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start them, and then I'll show you how sync will snap them together. Here's the first slower one, and now the one at 128. As you can tell, they're completely out of time, but I'm going to use sync and we'll snap them back together. There we have it. Now let's discuss some of the uh, jog effects on the unit. They're all controlled up here above the platter on either deck. The first one and the last one are permanently assigned to your key and filter. I'll show you how key works. Basically on all of them, you enable it by hitting the button and then you can use the jog wheel to control the parameter. For key, it shifts the pitch down. Turn it to the right, it shifts it up. To turn it off, just hit the button again. Filter works the exact same way. To the left is a low pass filter and to the right is a high pass. 
The ones in the middle can all be assigned by you. To assign one, hold shift down and then press the button of the effect that you want. So you'll see on FX1 on the left deck, I've got echo doppler, reverb, noise bell, ring mod, phaser. I'm gonna go for cut. We'll turn on cut now. So that's kind of like a gating effect, similar to the trans on the Pioneer mixers. Let's get a couple more going. Here we have the flanger. You can also use the effects simultaneously. So you just should be able to find. All right, let's set up some hot cues in this track. I don't have any set yet, so I think I'm gonna go back to the beginning and set one on the very first beat. To skip back to the beginning of the track quickly, I'm gonna hold down shift and then hit Q. This will take you back to the beginning of the track. Now I'm gonna find the first beat and set it and set a hot cue. So there it is, and what you do is just hit, hit the hotkey button. So it's set there now, and I think I'll go towards where the beat drops and set another one there. To go quickly through the track, you can hold shift and use the jog wheel, quickly seek through the track. I think I'll set it right around here. Bring it back, and hit the next hotkey. The hardest thing to so then you can jump around the track easily. Now let's have a look at the sampler. On each deck, you'll find it below the platter, and you have four samples on either side, giving you a total of eight. Six are by default preset in Virtual DJ, but the others you can record out of the master output of your mix, so let's trigger some of them. To turn it on, just hit the sampler button on either side. So you've got a variety of beats, bass, bass, bass. some sirens, air horn, and a few others. So when you're in the mix, you can go ahead and just hit one of these over here and it'll record the master output and then you can go ahead and layer that in again. Switch it out as you mix. Now I'm gonna show you how to use all four decks with the Wego and Virtual DJ. To turn on the other two decks, you need to come up here to the two to four decks button and give it a click. You'll see the other two decks pop out underneath the other ones. To control those two decks, you simply have to tell the Wego up here on the top with decks C and D that will reassign all of the controls to affect those two decks. As you'll see, I've mapped my platters to be white instead of red. A and B are set to red, and C and D are set to white so that I can keep track of what's going on. Now you're ready to mix all four tracks. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to use the Wego with Tractor.